The Bilderberg is holding their annual Illuminati Mafia meeting this weekend in Copenhagen, Denmark, but don't expect to hear much more than a peep about it in the mainstream press, who have maintained a near-complete blackout for over 50 years. Until recently, when the social media revolution has basically forced or shamed the mainstream media to touch on the subject ever so briefly, but never without using the words conspiracy theorists. That's right, it's just a conspiracy theory to think that 100 to 150 of the world's most powerful men meeting together in a hotel over an entire weekend surrounded by armed guards would have any sort of newsworthy or political significance, right? Glenn Beck, when he had his show on the Fox News Channel, actually said that the Bilderberg Group is about as important as the Build-A-Bear Toy Company said that you don't even don't need to go there. It's a conspiracy theory. That's right. Glenn Beck will just tell you the truth. And FEMA camps don't even exist, right? A few, few interesting YouTube videos show Hillary Clinton being confronted about the Bilderberg Group back in 2006 when she just cackled like a witch and said she just doesn't know anything about it. <laughs> I just don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's right. One of the most powerful women in the world just has no idea. Just never heard about it at all, right? Same with Sean Hannity. Well, I've recently given a break. I used to call into a show uh, about nine years ago, 2005, 2006, 2007. I used to frequently call into Sean Hannity's show. You can find some of those calls on my YouTube channel where I would just ask him. Uh, by the way, I'd have to bypass the call screener, uh, tell them some bogus issue, and then as soon as I was live on the air, I would ask Hannity about the Bilderberg Group. And you can go and hear from the horse's ass, I, I mean the horse's mouth, that he just never heard of them. Yeah, just a few years ago, just, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really, just... You know, one of the top three or four, uh, you know, political pundit uh, news analysts in the mainstream just just never heard of it. Yeah, that's that's how in touch he is, right? Jim Tucker's Bilderberg Diary is one of the most, or really the most, important sources of information about the Bilderberg Group. Jim Tucker passed away last year, I think at the age of 78, after some 40 years of tracking the. Bilderberg Group. His book is just absolutely fantastic. The American Free Press is the newspaper that he most recently worked for, and they will continue on with his work. Same with Infowars.com, who will be covering the story in depth and will most likely have reporters on the ground at the site as they have over the last few years. And like I said, up until recently, the last three years really, the mainstream media has had a complete blackout on the subject until having to address the issue. Otherwise, it would be obvious that they were covering it up and in collusion with them. But mentioning it ever so briefly and never without the words, conspiracy theorists are going crazy. Conspiracy theorists think that it's some big conspiracy. Oh, yeah, I guess that's why it's never been mentioned in the mainstream media for 50 years. Oh, I guess that's why internal leaks and, you know, just Bilderberg members have admitted that they created the European Union, that they were the ones that delayed the war in Iraq for a year, and Jim Tucker had fully reported on the entire timeline of the event, right? Yes, nothing significant happens there. In fact, there's so little of importance that even Hillary Clinton, Sean Hannity, and Glenn Beck just don't know anything about them, do they? There's no conspiracy. There certainly is no agreement among the main, amongst the mainstream media, right? Now, because the Bilderberg Group is meeting outside of the United States, uh, and probably will not be back in America until 2016, usually on election year. They meet outside of Washington, D.C. You can check my previous videos. Go to YouTube.com slash Mark Dice. Just click on my YouTube homepage. Scroll down and find some of the, uh, the playlist for the Bilderberg 2012 conference where you can see the criminals rolling in in their blacked-out uh, limousines and their private cars. Uh, and you could see it's just you're just a figment of your imagination. I mean, it's just nothing important at all. Just Henry Kissinger, the Rockefeller crime family, the uh, you know Bill Gates, and all the others just meeting there. Um, no, nothing to see here. Nothing at all. Just NPR is just bewildered by Bilderberg Group. It's just a bunch of crackpot conspiracy theorists, right? So I will keep you posted. 
on what news does finally leak out. I do believe that my friend Luke Radowski will be over there covering it, as will most likely InfoWars reporters. So stay tuned to my channel. I'll keep you posted if and when. Uh, small little bits and pieces finally leak out. And like I said, I'll, actually in a previous video, in a future video, I'll get into a little bit of the history about how the Bilderberg Group was first discovered. How did we get to this point today? And the Bilderberg Group's goals are primarily accomplished. I mean, we have a new world order. We have a, uh, a global government that just has a few more steps to go before it's completely in place. We have a big brother Orwellian uh, spy system in place. We have a few steps away from a global currency. Uh, they've committed so many false flags to forge their new world order uh, that there's not really much else for them to do, which is part of the reason why they can come out into the shadows. But they can't hide anymore in the age of digital social media and uh, cell phones that can stream YouTube videos, uh, video and post YouTube videos live remotely from virtually anywhere on the planet. Uh, but we must remind everybody that for decades the mainstream media was part of a, quote, conspiracy, really just an agreement to keep the Bilderberg Group silent. Because you can't say that there hasn't been an agreement amongst all major mainstream media to maintain a complete blackout of the group for over 50 years until social media forced their hand uh, without uh, their really... Um, without them wanting to, but they had to, otherwise they would have been clearly caught conspiring to have a blackout. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Check out some of the previous videos and the playlists, and stay tuned because there's more videos coming soon.